I want to give a brief overview on the evolution of thermal brakes in aluminum windows and we have five examples here to show for demonstration. So basically the old school method of thermally breaking or the thermally broken aluminum window is using a pour and debridge method where you use polyurethane to separate the aluminum and enhance the thermal performance. And today in heating dominated climates, it's very unlikely that this method would meet energy code. So what we did primarily in the US is we pivoted away from this and moved to this method. So this is polyamide. And so you're using these struts to separate the aluminum. But essentially, because you could see these are of similar lengths, these two profiles would perform rather similarly. So what do we do next? We use the same means and methods of polyamide, but we can increase the length of the struts. So you could see here, same material, but we increased the length of this thermal break. And what does that do? Basically, metal or aluminum does not perform well thermally. So we wanna separate it with this plastic component, which does do well thermally. So the longer the length of this plastic component, the slower the rate of heat transfer or the better conductive properties that this assembly has. So again, same material, we just grew the length of this member. What do we do next? Now, we can use the same material, but start playing with the geometry. Let me see if I can hold this. So, you look at these two members. Again, same material, aluminum, polyamide strut, but now we added this little flag on the top. So that's gonna start improving the convective performance within this cavity when you get adjacent to the glass. And the last one, we want to take it to the extreme what we're seeing today is extreme new forms or shapes and geometries of your thermal break so here you could see in this example not only did they add these little flags but you also have these vertical members separating or breaking up this cavity and the other means of heat transfer is convection and what happens is you start to get these air loops uh, accumulating within the cavity, which will enhance or um, increase the rate of heat transfer. So what you wanna do is you wanna break up this cavity with the plastic members to slow down the rate of heat transfer. So you can see the evolution and where we've gone from your basic polyamide thermal break to your advanced geometric polyamide struts. So polyurethane, polyamide, the evolution of thermal breaks in aluminum windows.